Studio One 5.1. Let's paint about it. What's up, Creative Faces? My name is Ella from Creative Sound. Welcome to the channel. Thumbs up on the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. But let's paint about the few things that I like in Studio One 5.1. There's quite a few things that, that we can dive into. Let's see here. Hmm, which one should we talk about first? Ah, got it. Hey, personas, turn on lights. Okay. First things first. This hamburger icon with tomatoes and lettuce in between it. This is different. This wasn't here before. It's really cool. It collapsed everything that we know that they usually spell out here across this black bar here, but um, we now have something new here called the ruler. This is really cool. I like this because it tells me how long my song is. I used to have to rely on the time down here at the bottom, make sure that my time down here reflects the time of actual song and so now it's in the ruler so this is the seconds that I, and but actually you could change this you could change this to be to reflect the bars i don't know why you would want to do that but that's there you can reflect the frames um or the samples but i like seconds that that works fine for me and i have the bars up here so i can position things like you know according to the bars as usual and still keep the time in front of me right here that's really cool and then your usual your marker you know that's that's how that has always always been there and then the chord section time signature kind of had this this cool little icon twist to it and everything else is the same it's just the fact that everything is being collapsible which is really cool now speaking of the arranger something i oh i have to tell you guys about this so with that being said you know down in here you know working on your piano roll and editing and doing things like that you know i often time had to you know click on and off this little button and to keep things in place so like if i move the session around right like like that or i turn this off if i don't want to move the top part but what's really cool is that now here at the bottom this this hamburger thing just pops up again it's making me hungry i can put a ranger down here as well see that's yeah, and th now we can put chords down here. So if I had chords, it, it will read that section right there and the time signature and even the markers. Let me put a marker there just just to, you know. Yeah, look look at that. That's you can't now you can't move anything. You, there's no adjusting anything. I don't need to adjust anything down here, which is fine cuz you can make a mistake and do something wrong, but yeah the fact that i can see that down here and i have to rely on the top part of this that is i love it i love it while we in the piano roll here i thought it was pretty cool to actually mention something a little bit about this section here which is the score i thought this was really cool when they add this in here the ability to not you know have this only available in notion but now it's available inside of studio one and the, the cool things about this is that you can switch things up you can you know look at it by a single page or you can you know get this going where you can see everything it looks like an actual score and here you can make adjustments you can add the title um i don't know i'll call it my song that's that's good enough for me and so the title changes there you know so whatever whatever you know you want it reflects what's what's in this been here for a while this has always been in studio one but now it talks to the the score which which i feel like make better use of that page so that's there and then of course the double page we can see double page that's that's really cool i like that um let me yeah check that out i like that and we have the option to print this out if i want to straight from studio one like that's that's unheard of this is i don't even know 
how I should feel about that. I, I feel really good about that. Now, of course, if you want to know more details about this section right here, you can go to Persona's channel and you can dial in the actual added features that they add. I'm just kind of showing you guys the visuals, the things that I've noticed just right off top and then of course if it means anything to you, you can always pop any of these pages out the piano roll the mix window you know have a separate page say you're doing like several like a multi-screen or whatever you can you have that ability to do these type of things moving on to the mix section one other thing that i've noticed is right here where all of my instruments live there is something new in here there is, you know, a couple of things that were added. One thing that stuck out to me the most is this collapse deal here. I like to use contact a lot, right? So I can expand this. So now I have the option to see what routing situation that I've done because this was, okay, let me go to that channel here. I pulled up contact and this is what I usually do. I go in here and do my thing, route things, you know, according to the instrument or whatever. And then I open this up and I route whatever to whatever. I open up the routing, right? Which is, which is cool, but you can also do that here. That's, wow, that's, I like that. I like that feature. And, you know, as things play, you can see the volume come in, you know, as things progress, you know, that's, that's really cool. I like that. I can uh, collapse that back. But here's the part that gets really interesting. This, this is, uh, this is, this right here is something else I've noticed. These two rectangle icons or buttons down at the bottom. Now I can switch views. Now right here, I'm able to see the computer usage of each plugin. That right there, my friends, is pretty cool. I like that. So no longer do we have to, I mean, it's still there. This is what I usually do, pull this up and see how much is being used from this window. But now we also have that feature here. And when you press in on something, you know, the it expands. You can see what's going on, the levels there, right? And you have the CPU. You know, that's, I like that. I really like that. And then you can also access that through this toggle back and forth at the top, you know, extra options. I mean, that's if you prefer the drop down versus the two nice rectangular buttons at the bottom. I mean, now I'm pretty sure there's a lot more under the hood here, but the things that I've noticed so far that I appreciate like visual things, those were, some of the main things I, I actually appreciate as a Studio One user. But this one right here, this one right here takes the kick. Retrospective recording. Now, this is a feature that's been requested so many times. I cannot tell you how many countless times has this been mentioned on my live stream shows here on this channel or just random videos I post. People have been asking about retrospective recording. It's finally here. So just to show you that right quick, I gotta put on some headphones so I can hear what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go to my scratch pad and uh, uh, don't wanna make any um, changes to my, my session here cause I'm working on it. I don't wanna, you know, mess anything up. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this track. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the scalar track. And when I, I'm gonna just play something, you know. right you know sophisticated sound and because i have a key command set up because you can do that right um see um yeah boom yeah so it yeah is there right that's that's there another way to access this is by uh, there's a button here in the information section it's called retrospective recording. You can just hit that button. So you, if you don't have to have a key command there, and then you can also map that to your Atom SQ or your Atom pad, which brings up a good point. Now things get easy where you could just go to a button, just hit a button and, and do that instead of 
a key command on your keyboard so like i say there's quite a bit more updates that happen in 5.1 there are some that happened in the show page. I'm not gonna go in there at the moment. So what I will be doing is discovering more updates that's going on in Studio One as we go live. That's kind of one of the perks of being a subscriber around here, you know? So that's all I have for you guys. I want to keep the video short and sweet and get to the main points that interest me the most. Now to some of you, is Studio One worth upgrading now? Once again, I'm Ella from Creative Sound. Remember music is art. You're the artist, paint your picture, stay creative without rules, y'all be good out there.